Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Emma, is that you? Yeesh, I'm going to fall off this. Well, that bodes ill. Maybe there's something on here. Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Ugh. You left me back there, you asshole! Oh, God, Emma, come on! Ugh. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah! Me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, Okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? 
You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Ugh, oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <sighs> Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. Nick, what do you... I want to taste you. Hey! Come here, huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off! Oh, but watch out! I said get off! Nick? Oh. He's so cold. Oh, 
Okay, L let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving ah. so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Look, this is all I've got left in the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not gonna want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? The place was so different like 12 hours ago. I wonder where Caleb is. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Hey, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? N Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a... Oh, such... Such... what? Such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh... Yeah. 
okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? Nick, you're different. No, I, no. Just Nick. Good old big dick Nick. What the hell? <sighs> Sick, Abby. Why don't you care about me? I do. I. I. You're not really very smart, are you? Poor, stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this. This isn't you. I. <gasps> Everything okay? Holy shit. <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge.
about you if you know all about me. Come on! Do it! I've never done this before, Pa. Let's do it fast. That's it. Damn these <laughs> fucking kids. Son, what? Ah. 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 <gasps> hey, stop. Stop squirming. Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby? Ryan? I killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her, inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again. Just you, me. Why don't we take another look at what you found?
justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. The moon, how poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety, and turn them into intuition. If you can do this, and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Make your choice. Go then, chop chop, one down, one over. Isn't that terribly exciting?